and still the champion of the world, Leon Edwards. Leon, you walked over here so chill. I mean, you've got to be on cloud nine, considering you just defended your title for the first time. Yeah, 100%, especially doing it at home. You know, you, the crowd out there was amazing tonight, and that spurred me on and pushed me on, you know. So, um, like I said, fair play to Kamar Usman. He's been my greatest competitor so far, and fair play to the man. What did you think about what Kamaru was able to bring to the table this time around as compared to those first two fights? Um, he definitely made improvements so far as I was trying to land that, that head kick again. But he made his coaches work on that defense, you know, so I was trying to set him up with leg kicks, body kicks to try to get his arm to drop. But he, he stayed disciplined all the way through the fight and fair play to him. Speaking of improvements and things uh, being defended, your takedown defense and your ability to get up were absolutely impressive. Daniel Cormier was talking a lot about your ability to separate his hands and make sure he couldn't lock them to take you down. How much was that a focus going into this third fight? Yeah, 100% because I didn't get to show my wrestling in the second fight, right? So I knew um, me and my coaches worked on obviously not, let, not making him lock his hands. That's the reason why I was getting takedowns last fight. So this camp will work it. Double, double time just to make sure um, I was able to defend his takedown. I know once it's on his feet, I'll, I'll win the fight, you know. Going into that fifth round, number one, how did your cardio and conditioning feel? And number two, how much did that crowd really impact your ability to move forward? Because while they were cheering the whole fight, it seemed like they were really, really giving you everything they had in that yeah, fifth round. Yeah, 100%. Like I said, the crowd was amazing tonight. I told you all week that it can only push me on to have to be at home and hearing this crowd and feeling the support, you know, I haven't fought in the UK now for four years and um, so I'm happy to be able to come back, defend my belt um, in London, um, represent the UK and yeah, it's been, it was amazing, it was an amazing night and look, I'm looking forward to watch it, going home and watching it to see how, how the crowd react, you know, but I could hear them all the way through the fight for sure. One you will remember for the rest of your life, I am sure. You know, in terms of the judges' scorecards, when it went to the final bell, was there any concern on your end, especially because of that point deduction, that this could potentially not go your way? Um, no, I think I thought I did enough, you know. He was pressuring, but he wasn't throwing much. He was more cutting off the cage, and but weren't throwing as much, you know. I was, I was the one landing the leg kicks, landing, landing my jabs and my body kicks, you know. So um, I thought I did enough. I was at the point um, deduction. Um, made, mine made it seem like it was closer than what it is, but um, I was confident going into it that I won the round. Phenomenal body work. Some of those knees, we, no, we have no idea how he was still standing after that. But Leon, you're the champion. They sometimes say that it's harder to defend your belt than to win the belt. You have now done both. And it looks like there's a whole line at welterweight that is waiting to compete against you. Colby Covington was the backup in this fight. He did weigh in. Obviously, you saw him at the end of the fight. We just spoke to him, and he said, I want to fight him in July. But there's guys like Gilbert Durinho, who is fighting, of course, Jorge Masvidal. There's Bilal Muhammad. There are so many people at 170. For you as the champion, if you could say, all right, you're next, who is it? Um, for me, like I said, it was a long road for me to get here. You know, when it was my turn calling for the bout, everyone like, I, I don't know who he is. Now, now I'm the king. I will sit back, I'll, I'll, I'll overthink, and I'll let them beg me first, then I'll consider it. All right, very king-like indeed, Leon. Congratulations. I bet there's going to be a heck of a celebration for you and your loved ones tonight, and much deserved. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Brilliant performance. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.